Let's take it apart. Quick nine of a grow. Measure the uh, body actually when you do that. It's a little bit further back. Four screws, a little bit of a disappointment, all under the skates. It's just a normal star one. simpler inside than I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe some PCB at the top here, but so far. I want to black shell pink dots. Okay. I thought they were going to be uh, kale foes. They do feel nice though. And green dots. Why don't they put um, black shell pink dots there? You know what I mean? Come on. I can tell now why they're a bit mushy. It's because they're using the Zowie cell. So this, the button, which is a bit of a shame, pushes over the top of the switch. So it almost goes like, it goes like that. Rather than like down on it, whoops. Rather than down on it like that. Which is a better press. So when they go over the top, you end up with this mushy feeling. This bar here, good little design. Trying to stop the mushiness so the buttons can't go all the way in, but you end up with more pre-travel when you do that, so it's a bit of a shame. It'd been better, nice for them to rotate them around a bit, um, but they should have flipped them upwards. So the point of the switch was like that way, like uh, like that. So got a TTC encoder, gold one, nice. And well, that looks pretty clean in there, man. To be fair. Thanks, team. Then you got Bill. I can't read this because my camera's more up. AZ. It's LG. LG in the bottom left here, and then GGM, <laughs> pretty cool. That's a thick battery, yeah, it's a 500 milliamp battery in it. It's still 60 grams, which is pretty impressive, gotta be honest. 3.7 volt, no surprise. Which means it's got potential to be nicely weight reduced. It's got the, you see this weird post to show you? It's like a little gear stick. It's for the DPI um, button, light, sorry, at the top here. But it's um, offset, it's a bit weird. Like diffuser. <laughs> Sits like across there. No, drop the buttons out. There you go.
definitely not a fan of the side button design on this. Pretty nice design this. Nice to see him taking this shape, making it nice and light. Quality wise, it's definitely up there. 15 grams. Got a fairly heavy shell. Two screws, so you got uh, like two here, one here, one here. Other than that, maybe clip somewhere. So it's a smaller, it's only a two pin battery. So I haven't got any temperature monitoring. Ten. Gram for that. Nine gram battery, yeah, fair enough. Just got a third screw here. It's got a clip on the side as well, okay. I like the colour array of uh, components. Pink, Hoanu black shell, a purple a scroll wheel with a, um, a block for height. Gold TTC encoder, looks like an 11 mil, but we'll find out. Maybe a bit more. And then green Hoanu black shell, shame they didn't put pink ones at the back. Pet hate of mine. And a green, uh, USB bit, nice. Quite a thin uh, band on this one. Messi's nice, got a light scroll wheel, 1.5 grams for scroll wheel is light. Although its dimensions are quite narrow. play around with it. TLR SR8355 looks like it. See sensor on so it says PAW3370M T4QU is a sensor. It's also got another reference on that. It's got a UPA058 on the MCU. It's got a 13mm TTC gold as well. They've taken weight out of the PCB, love it. Love it, love it. Let's measure it up then, the PCB. This is quite a small PCB, so it's got some potential here to be modded into other mice. I'd say. It looks like a 08 millimeter. Twelve grams PCB. Got quite a lot on it. So oh yeah, there we go. to that one scale for it. The base. 10. Close. All taken apart. Pretty good decent design to be fair.